Hey, what's up guys? This is Runga, and today we are just going to talk about the hits gameplay slash future trunks that we don't really care about. But, uh, future trunks and hit gameplay that just got released. This video is put up by Anime Games Online, so credit him for this video. I'm just going to analyze the uh, moves and the combos. Even though, let's keep in mind that the players who are playing this build or whatever this is did not know how to do combos again. So, first fight I'm just going to let it run through and then the next fight I'm going to analyze stuff. I just want to talk about things that, you know, I haven't been talking about for the past week because I've just, I've been busy. So, one thing is that uh, Xenoverse 2 has shown some gameplay recently, and they also released a update on the DLC Pack 1, which includes Super Saiyan Kabe and Final Form Frost. However, Frost is just like Frieza, missing his third form and his uh, base form, so yeah. Gotta love that. So, uh, they've done that, and, uh, they just released a couple days ago the info to hit would be playable day one. So, hit is not DLC, which is great. And then the nice little trailer that they had, they showed Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and he wasn't Kaioken. <laughs> so, he's not Kaioken in that trailer. So if they have the story mode right, he should go Kaioken. If they don't, then I'm going to have to wait for DLC to get Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, which is basically just Kaioken with Super Saiyan Blue. I'll just need a couple new moves, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to pause it in this video also. Because uh, we're going to get to see Super Mirror. And Super Mirror is very, very, very cool in my opinion. And we're not going to get to see, like, his, uh, real character model, but they do show his dark form. And I gotta say, Super Mario is very, very awesome, and I really like him. And I'm glad that he made the game. Also got a, uh, an update last night that Super Saiyan 3 Bardock will be playable, which I guessed. So, it's not really too surprising, but it's still nice to have. Will he come with a new moveset? No one knows. We just gotta see. Uh, other than that, Future Trunks looks sorta the same like the other Trunks. has the same combo strings. But we'll just... <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna analyze this video. Not be biased, because I know Dempse likes to you know, stick to the status quo of recycling moveset. Alright, so anyways, let's start off this analysis. Alright, first, he's charging. Right off the bat, Hit does not charge. Hit is not a Saiyan. Hit is not a character that needs to charge. He doesn't have that kind of fighting style. He's not... He didn't even know what charging was until uh, Goku and Vegeta showed him, which is odd that they gave him maximum charge. Alright, so... Trunks is kicking his ass right here. Has same combo strings, like I said. Uh, hit. Now, he he did a three hit combo and he charged. Okay, now, Trunks is doing some sort of super. Now, I don't know what that super is, so I can't analyze it fully. So I think this is the part where it does his little, uh, I don't even know. It's, it's just a badass punch. It's like that punch that he did on Vegeta. And, uh, where he just punched him to the, uh, face, like, the temple, it was just, man. I don't know, Hit is, Hit is a very awesome character. I'm not hating on the man at all. I just hope the more for his moveset. Uh, but anyways, they're taking their time. I have this slowed down in slow motion, uh, so that we can, you know, catch everything. Alright, so right there, he does his, uh, super attack, Toki Tobashi. And, okay, I know you're going to say, it looks cool, 
what, what happened to the color pattern that they used in uh, Dragon Ball Super. Now, you know Dex. Dex likes to do their own kind of color patterns with things. Uh, they like to use blue for Big Bang Attack and Tri Beam, which are yellow in the show. They like to use um, all kind of sort of colors for moves that don't even... Like, perfect shot. Like, I've never seen Cell do a perfect shot, but just because Cell is green, it's green. Turles never actually seen him do his uh, last, but they made it purple because Turles has a <laughs> purple color, which is, you know, it's weird, but at the same time, it makes a lot of sense. So, uh, Hit his Aura is purple, just like in the show. Uh, he didn't charge. Uh, he's doing some kind of technique right there. I don't know if that's a counter move or if it's a poison type move. But for those moves, your opponent has to be standing still or your opponent has to hit you with a strike and you have to time it. Alright, so Trunks has found a flash. Not really surprising. Once he did in the show, I already knew what to expect from future Trunks. So I kind of wonder, do Gips get these uh, games ahead of... Well, not games, these shows ahead of time, do they know what's going to happen in them? So I uh, hit Phantom Fist right there. So that's three moves already down. Maximum Charge. The uh, mystery move, we don't know what it is. It could be Poison, it could be a counter. And then he has a little punch away that they showed earlier. Um, and then he has his, uh, of course, his special move. So, Trucks with a Maseko. Uh, no new. Animation for trunks, just you no know, Maseko, whatever. But I am uh, really hyped for Hit. I hope that he plays well. And I hope you guys enjoy him. And I hope I get Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku because he is what I live for. Anyways, I uh, hope that everything goes right with Dragon Ball's Universe 2. There goes Super Mirror right there, looking cool. Hopefully, he gets his new attire and his regular. Uh, custom. I don't want to play Dark Form. I mean, Dark Form looks badass and all, but I like I like the regular, the regular characters already. So that's it for you guys. If it's a little bit of a letdown, you didn't get to see what you wanted to see. Don't blame me. Blame the guy who's playing the fucking game. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And uh, Future Trunks fans who thought he was gonna get a completely new move set and use the sword with key attacks, I. Uh, I feel bad for you. Anyways, that was this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be trying to do more Xenoverse 2 videos like this. Hopefully, the news only gets better. Anyway, Xenoverse 2 is coming out next Tuesday. I'll be probably not the first to let you know because I got school. But I will be there to deliver Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content. That only a dragon can provide. Anyways, guys. Just because it's been a long time. Your wish has been granted. Until next time, my friends. Farewell. Also, another quick thing, guys. I know I haven't been doing any tutorials lately of yet. I've just been uh, putting out gameplay. Guys, you know I love talking to you guys. I'll be doing tutorials when the full game comes out. Showing you guys how to do combos, how to Z-Vanish, how to uh, chase dash, how to get down your timing on your just guards before and uh, during combat because it is a technique that you can use to get a couple just guards off in a tight situation so I'll be showing you guys what I know and uh, just trying to help you guys get better at the game which is why I started my group on the PS4 it's called Heroes Legacy if you want to join and you have a PS4 let me know I will train you I will fight you online and determine if you're worthy to join my clan until next time my friends Farewell.
One more thing. Where the fuck is Super 13 and Bojack? Shit.